Hello, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to this session. And today uh, we are going to take you through uh, number two, that was uh, ICT paper two. And the UNEBU, again, the Advanced Certificate of Education, subsidiary ICT paper two. Last time we handled the paper one, uh, number one, that was about word processing. And today we are going to handle that is number two, and it's all about spreadsheet. So use a spreadsheet application to enter the data given in the table below. Save it as your name and personal number. So this is the data which we are going to enter in the system. We are going to start with this content here. Then from there, uh, let's go straight out with our folder. Uh, remember we have created a folder on our desktop this is the support file and this is uh, our folder let me open it already there is uh, a file and it is a file about word processing so what we are going to do I'm going to right click inside here so that I create a, an excel file I right click I come to new I click on excel file I rename it as my name Jams Faizo five zero seven. Then after I open it, it is loading. Yes, once it is open, we come and start entering our data. That is item name. We enter the label column column labels. That is headings quantity. Unit price in shillings, amount in shillings, that in that is eighteen percent gross price that is in shillings. So let's do that. Uh, item name. Uh, we go to quantity. We go to unit price. That is in shillings. We go to amount. That is also in shillings. We go to VAT. That is in eighteen percent. Then after we also go to gross price in shillings. Once that is done, we are going to first wrap this text so that it can fit. Let's try to put them in what we call board them. Once we're done with boarding, then we are going to come and drop them. Wrapping, we are going to right click. Then you come to format cells. We come under alignment. We check wrap. Then you click OK. So once the content is wrapped, we are going to highlight our, our content, maybe up to around 12 here. We first put borders, come under all borders, we click, then once we're done with that, we are going to highlight we put these column headings up here. We try to expand. Expand this that is to be in the we expand like that. So I think our table is now okay. We are ready to enter data. So we are going to start with the soda. 
continue in the lollipus then we enter donut then we enter bagia then we enter bogoya then we enter chapati then after we enter samosa from there we enter bridge then we enter passion fruits it is passion, passion juice actually from there we enter gorillas gorillas lastly we enter yogurt yes that is done so that means we are done uh, with our items these are the item names we have entered from soda up to yogurt so we are going to the next column that is about quantity all of this the new place all of this so we are going to switch back to our content here we enter the quantity 200 that is next is 400 next 600 the next is 700 uh, the quantity for bogoya is 1200 that is 1,000 to uh, 1,300 uh, for samosa 500 for bread 400 that is quantity then for passion juice 500 then for gorilla 200 that's the yogurt is 100 then after the quantity we are going to the unit price let's check the content here 800 up to 200 here so we're going to enter the unit price by each item so i start with 800 then 350 then 350 for donut then after the gear we have 200 then 350 then we have 500 we have 350 then from there we have 1500 then we have 1500 then 500 and lastly we having 200 for yogurt once now that is done we are going to come and answer this question after entering our data very well so we have this question here insert a row between bagia and boguya so that is part b roman number one insert a row between bagia and boguya we're going to come straight away between bagia and boguya so we're going to right click here and say insert entire row Course, it's going to create a, a row between Bagia and Bogoya, and we are going to that is that is done. Then the next question says, Enter a record of your choice in the row you have inserted. Enter a record of your choice in the row you have inserted. So we are going to come back here and we enter the record of our choice. We can say, uh, Tips. Then we give it any quantity, maybe uh, 100, then the unit price may be 500. That is the record of our choice. Then the next question says use formulas or functions to determine the amount which is a product of quantity and unit price. So we are going to come back to our content here. We say equal sign. Uh, 
that is uh, quantity same as uh, quantity time is uh, unit place then enter so that is then here we we'll go to fill that's why we have it here go to fill that's makes excel is very interesting then from there let's go to another question it says uh vat which is 18 percent of amount vat which is 18 percent of amount so we're going to come here and it's an equal sign we type 18 percent then times that is uh, amount for soda then click enter you see the percentage then we auto fill then we come to the next question gross price which is the sum of amount and vat gross price which is the sum of amount and vat so we are going to come here equal sign then we type sum we open the brackets then we come and say we actually just highlight amount and vat because we want to get the total sum which is amount and vat so we enter this is the total the gross price so that is it then the next question says draw a chart showing gross prices for all the items draw a chart showing gross prices for all the items so we are going to come and highlight our items then we hold the control key on the keyboard we come and highlight the gross price then we come and we insert a uh, chart uh, let's try to insert a pie chart very good so the pie chart is here for gross prices you can press it under the table we can come and look for a better quick layout for this which has uh, the labels we can use this one this is better i think or this one yeah layout number one i think it will work for us good to work it has even the content inside then from there we are going to rename okay we enter the title of the, the chart because it's saying here uh, a chart showing gross prices for all the items so that's going to be our title of the chart chart showing gross prices machines for items so that is done and let's see if there is any other question include river chai titles we have done that insert your name as a header so you're going to come and click on insert we are once we click on insert we're going to insert uh, they want us to insert what the the headers so we are going to click here head and footer they wanted us to insert the header let's see is it the header yes search your name as a header you come and type click here to add header that is charms Please. 
like that so even our work is already in a printing mode or in the layout that is landscape so what we are going to do we are going to come here to page layout and orientation put our bin a portrait so here you click you save the changes after saving the changes you come under file we look for print so this is how this is the print preview of how work how it will appear once it is printed so here you just press print so you'll be able to print out your work thank you for listening to me let's wait for number three